Purify some water. Okay, that's a decent amount. It's definitely going to get us what we need. And that's still purifying. Just under 15 liters worth. That's really, really good. Okay, what do I need next? I wanted to grab a hammer. There we go. Grab one of those. Okay, so now I want to check how much food is left. Because I believe we're running quite low. Oh, I didn't think we were running that low. That's four pieces left. Okay, yeah, we need to get some food. I need to do some hunting, dry some more meat, because I'm down to my canned stuff again. And apart from that, we're out of food. So, welcome back to Mist, guys. As you can see from the intro, nothing particularly crazy happened when we was over at the tower there. I really thought it would, but we just waited it out, we hunkered down, and then me and Leo headed back home. And then since then, all I've been doing is just organizing everything. And I realized after I made this extra locker, just for like wood and extra scraps and stuff, I realized that I was really running out of scrap. So all I did was break out the sledgehammer and go around and break down the, the vehicles that were broken in the area. And I used that for scrap. Now, since then, we've had a little bit of a, a heartbreaking moment because as you can see, it's only Geon in the base. And our little friend, Leo, is nowhere to be seen. Now, to break immersion for a second, <laughs> I do know that there's a weird bug with him at the moment, or something to do with the water and the food, and apparently there is a chance that he can disappear. Now, there's one way to fix this, and there's another way where you can find him. Now, we're gonna try and do the way to fix this first, because I haven't attempted it yet, just because if it breaks anything, I wanted to do it together, okay? So, here we go. If we press escape, and then go to pet fix up, this could bring him back. I basically spawn him to me. I, th I think it might act like an anchor point, Didn't work, did it? Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, it's not a mist. It's just the weather turning. And our little friend's going to be out in this. It's going to be cold and wet. I'm a bad dog owner, guys. No! Oh, okay. So that basically means then, if he has disappeared, I was told by you guys, he has a respawn point back at his cage. Which essentially means what we're going with, because the way our story goes, is when we were going around grabbing the scrap, the bandits would have snatched him when he was basically running around the perimeter of the base. And, yeah, I guess we got to do it all again. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever because I get to go and get supplies and go and free him. But I really hope there's a way to stop that. I don't know if we're going to do that today. I definitely want him back. And if I have time, I will do. But I've got more things to do today that I want to recon in particular. So, first things first. Why are we out in the rain? What am I doing? Get up there. This thing gets really, really loud when a storm comes by. I actually want to see this, too, because I haven't really seen what the weather system's like. I've seen the rain, obviously, but you can get, like, lightning and thunderstorms. I think this might be one. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the actual thunderstorm. It's not just overcast. Okay, so if we go to this, I wanted to have a look at modifying a weapon. So it says baseball bat. I don't know if this is working, by the way. I just wanted to attempt it today with you guys. So baseball bat and damage part. Modify info, scissor and nail. Do I need scissors in order to do that or just nail? Grip part. Let's just throw some nails on it. And then craft. Okay, why didn't that work? What am I doing wrong there? We come out of this. Modify, let's try that again. Scissor and nail. I don't drag that into there. Wait, that disappeared. Oh, it dragged him to the floor. Wait, what's going Oh, hello. Move back a little bit. Don't actually know what's going on with that. I thought because if you do this, I saw there was... Yeah, that. A little hammer there. So... Maybe that? Wait, no, now it switched it to that. <laughs> what is going on? Craft, craft, nothing's working. Uh, maybe grab some scissors? I do have some. Just don't know where I've put them. I've organized, I've reorganized everything. So now I don't know where anything is anymore. Wait, was it this locker? There we go. We got three scissors. Let's try that one more time. If it doesn't work this time, I'm just going to give up on it because I'm not sure it is working. But I'm, I'm fairly certain I have seen the spike baseball bat work before. Yeah, no. Okay, well, if there is a way to do it, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Let's just put that in there. And can we not? We can't stack the baseball bats, right? Yeah, and no, I'll just leave them in there like that. And then you can go in there too. Okay, so food is obviously something that we badly need. And yeah, that's something we're going to be getting on too. I want to show you guys this. You may have seen it from the intro. God damn, that is... Oh my God. That is one hell of a storm. I wanted to show you guys this because... 
you guys let me know in the comments that you can use this. I can barely hear myself. I wanted to let you know you can use this as a distraction. I totally forgot you could do this, by the way, but if you do that, it basically alerts the bandits to that direction, the distraction method, and they'll go and follow that, and you can take them down all stealthy-like, which will be perfect. So we're absolutely going to use that. I just wanted to show you all in case you guys were doing the same thing, trying to take the bandits down, but yeah, we've got that. All right, let's get inside. Engine on. Gotta be careful in this weather, too. Don't want to be driving like a maniac. Flip this thing on its side, then I've got lost all that storage. I did want to head over to this side, purely because I want to know how far away that building is that we've seen near the tower. If I remember right, it was quite a distance away, but I'm just going to get eyes on. To... Oh, I just said I wasn't going to go fast. My brakes locked up. Look at that weather. Oh my god, that looks so good. Imagine what this would look like at night time too. Let's go slowly over this, over the bumpy terrain. Easy does it. There we go. Okay, so off in that direction, basically where the truck is facing right now. Oh my god, that looks so good. We have this over here, this building. And it looks fairly big compared to anything else. If you guys remember the museum that we found, which was in Old Town, then it's kind of similar to that. And I do want to check out what it is. But I think I'm going to give it a pass with this weather being like this. So obviously just bringing you guys up to speed on where we're at. So let's get back home. Storm's cleared. Day number 15. Just gone past 6 o'clock in the morning. We're going to celebrate. Let's get some beef up inside us. I've been trying to save these, like, for as late as possible, eating them. Obviously, it's canned food, so it will last a lot longer, but I don't really want to be eating the uh, the meat that's there to my right because it doesn't fill me all the way for the day, and I've only got, like, two pieces left, and let's drink a soda as well. Why not? There we go. We're getting that sugar rush, getting those calories in. Right, I'm going to keep this on me as well with the revolver. I'm going to keep the bottles as well in case I need a distraction. I think that, for the most part, is everything I'm going to be taking. Maybe I need to be smart with this and collect some sticks before I go and get some arrows. Definitely need some uh, some more meat. Oh, I also need to tell you guys as well, the ranch where we've just been to, where we took a little look at the, uh, or with the direction where the building is, there's a skeleton back there. When I was breaking down one of the cars inside like a little hut, I'll show you guys when we're over there. There's a skeleton behind the hay bales, and I noticed it. I didn't loot it because I wanted to be with you guys for it, but it looks like we could have at least some more food or maybe another weapon attachment because every time we found one of them, we found something a little bit extra. Like when we found the cage with Gion, it had one in there, and I believe one over in that direction too. So yeah, I'm just going to find some sticks. I'm going to make some basic arrows, and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, so we've got everything we needed. I just grabbed those extra two pieces of meat in case we stay out a bit later than anticipated. So we've got it rather than we've not got it, right? It's better than to have it than to not have it is always the motto that you should go with. Right, so we are going to go back over to the ranch or the farm, whichever you guys prefer it being called. And I'm going to take a look at that, that body we've got. And then I think we'll do a little bit of sightseeing with that building that we found off in the distance. I'm really, really hoping as well. <laughs> like, I'm holding out hope. That while I'm driving through these areas, I'm going to try and not go too fast just in case, like, he just magically comes out of the, one of the trees or the bushes or something. And he just comes running up to the truck. Or if I just glance to my right and I see him, I've got hopes of that. You can tell, guys, I'm heartbroken. I lost my little buddy. I hate it. But yeah, I'm not going to drive too fast. I'm going to keep our eyes peeled. Like, if he was just over here or just sat down by the side. I don't know if that would actually creep me out, though, if he's just sat by the side of the road. <laughs> Do you imagine that? <laughs> But yeah, this is where I came, and I tried to break that one down. You cannot do it. Whoa, why is that back? Why is that got that thing in there again? Oh, wait. What was that? Okay, that's where I broke the vehicle down and got the scrap from. I did get, like, some cement bags and some manure as well. I did take that back to the base. There's no gas in here, right? That was really, really weird. You guys all saw that. It looked like 
a gas was forming. But yeah, I was just looking around the area for scrap, and then over at these hay bales, I thought I saw, like, something here. I got some firewood from around that side, and then just happened to jump up, and then there was this. So we're going to grab that shotgun, which I don't think is any different than the one we've got. Yeah, the double barrel. I love this thing, by the way. And then we have the tactical grip. Oh, some food as well. Nice. Give me that. And 762. That's for the uh, the hunting rifle. That's such a huge find. I said that in the previous episode, too. I was like, if we can find the grip, this thing will look amazing. I believe we only need to find like a stock and a magnification scope or something like that, or a magnifier. So if we put you in there with the weapon, and then I'm not trying to be specific with the way I'm arranging these. I'm just putting them in anywhere, really. Some ammunition. That's empty. It's got a bit of lashing in it. Oh, there's the cement bags. Or oh, the concrete bags. So yeah, that's what we're looking like. Is that a wheel? I have so many of these. I'm going to leave that there. I've, I've literally got like seven of them back at the base, and they're taking up space because I've not made the, uh, the car. I don't know if I will either. I've not really needed it. Because I've not done, like, a huge operation yet. Can we squeeze through that? Let's just be real. Easy does it. There we go. Oh, he scratched the paintwork, but it's fine. It's the last thing that we need to worry about. So, if we go as the crow flies in this direction. Is it that way? Maybe it's to the right a little bit. That is... that a solo bear? No, I think there's one laid down. No, nope, that's the mother bear with the two cubs. There she is. And if you look behind her there, that looks like a rock. It could easily be a bear laid down that. It's like just next to the tree over there. Although this area has got a lot of life, it's also really dangerous. Oh my god, the bears are just breeding like rabbits around here. Which is good for me because it's more food, but it's bad because, obviously, like I've just said, a mother with the cubs extremely dangerous oh that's old town that is the museum damn i thought that was a new place okay i got turned around when i was over there then i thought that was something that we hadn't explored yet but i think that's actually the museum which is fine at least we know that now okay so i do have a backup i do have an area where i do want to explore or i guess do a little bit more recon although there was pigs here a second ago you know what i know this is dangerous but I could really use one of those pigs. They were right here a second ago. Where have you gone? Oh, you pig bastard. Where have you gone? There was like five of them. I really don't recommend doing this either, especially with what you guys have been telling me about the uh, the Razorbacks. Extremely... Oh, shit, that's a camp. Oh, my God. I didn't even see that. What am I doing? Oh, I'm, the sun's getting to me and, like, the loss of Leo. It's all too much. That's actually a camp there. I only saw that stand with him on it. Oh, we got one right there. It looks like he's facing us too. Can't see him, can't see him. Don't you aim down that scope. Wait. Oh, the way his posture just changed made it look like he was alerted to something. You don't see anything. Time go down. Let's take this nice and slow. So far we got two. Don't see any more. It's just him over there. I could get close to him. Like I could swing around that side. And that'll give me an opportunity to see if there's anyone, like, just posted around that edge. They do kind of go around the perimeter as well. I have seen them do that before. Yeah, this is actually a really good position. I know it's kind of eye level with anyone that would be stood here, but I'm pretty confident there's nobody else here unless they're in that building. I think we're just going to push it with our shotgun if that's the case. Hopefully we get some good stuff from this, though, if I can take him down without any problems. A couple of vehicles that I can break down for scrap. I see an axe there, too. All right, stay focused. Stay focused. I just want to use a basic arrow. Oh, what have you got? Oh, is that a sniper rifle? No, that's an AK-47. Can't go down. I'm getting the shit dialed in now. feel way more confident with it. Right. That's two of them gone. 
We're looking good. Make no mistake as well, guys. My heart thumps during this. I know they're not the brightest of bandits. I get that. But when you're playing it like this, it can be absolutely terrifying. When you're just slowly, methodically going around this place as if you would in real life, you put yourself in this position, it becomes actually really nerve-wracking. You don't want to die. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, you guys kept telling me as well to keep hold of an apple for one reason. I didn't actually see the reason why. I think a few people were trying not to spoil it for me, which, again, I really do appreciate. And some people were saying as well that they've never really found anything in these sunshades. And then some people said they have, so they've told me to keep doing it, which I will. I've just not found anything yet. Should actually check these are uh, clear first, right? <laughs> Before I just have all the pick of the loot. Oh, 50 cal rounds. Oh, oh, what are you? Oh, what are you? Oh, please, we need to find a code. I'm going to have to look at this. Oh, oh, you scared the shit out of me then. That's Scott. Oh. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Crowbar, I have one of them back at the vehicle. Uh, helmet. Backpack. Oh, it's got broccoli. Of course we're going to take that. Nothing in your pockets. Did you drop anything? I can't pick these guys up either. I know a few of you guys were asking that. See if I can pick them up. See if there's anything underneath the bodies. I can't do that. All right. I think the area is clear. Let's go see what this guy dropped. Oh, a mounting part. Wait, did you drop? Where's your AK? I'm going to have to check underneath that, but I guess sometimes they just don't drop stuff. Actually, I do remember a few of you guys saying that. Backpack. Gunpowder. <laughs> grenade. Let's grab you. Wait, can we stack that? There we go. We can stack you too. Oh, no, we can't. The gunpowder, though, yeah, I can come back for that. They're really cool looking. Like, you get the two different variations of you. you got that one over there wearing the blue stuff, but I've not really seen them. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I've not really seen them mixing it up with this type of stuff, these vests. It'd be really cool if you could get a variation of that too, like different tactical gear. Some heavies, some lights. I guess the lights will be more like the snipers and the heavies will just be the... People with, like, shotguns or miniguns or something like that in the future. I don't know. Anything they can find from a military stash, I guess. Let's grab you. Three minutes. Perfect. That's another spark plug. We actually do need another engine, so... Yeah, I'm going to keep my head on a swivel for that. Oh, you know what I should probably do as well? Yeah, I'm not leaving without doing that. Give me the... Sledgehammer. We'll switch you out for that. You can get, like, rags, scrap... I've seen, like, one spark plug come out of it, and that wasn't actually in the engine bay. So I don't know if that's, like, a random drop. But we got plenty of scrap there. If you do need them, try and get yourself a sledgehammer. I know you can find them in the town next to where we're living. And um, was there anything in here? A battery. I don't really need that, but again, it's vehicle parts. You just never know, so we'll take it. And then we'll break this down, too. Nothing on the back seats. That's another thing I've seen people say. Check the back seats of the vehicle. I've never found anything there, either. But yeah, we break this down. Plenty more scrap, plenty more components, and that just gives us more access. I am going to upgrade the workbench back at the uh, at the base too. I think I just needed scrap for that, or we needed to make the uh, the gears. I think that was the last thing. There we go. Battery dropped out of it. Scrap components. Not going to take the rags. I really don't need them. Finding rags everywhere I go now. I think we're close now to being able to make the uh, the upgraded quiver too, which would be perfect. Oh, no, nope. pick you up. A lot of you guys were saying that you wanted to see me do this. I find this really repetitive, like, <laughs> putting this stuff in the uh, lockers and just looting it. I try and show you just the best bits, but I guess every now and again I can keep you guys with me while I do it. Doesn't do any harm. Right, switch back to the shotgun. Back to close quarters. And there was an axe here. Yeah, we'll take it. Some more scrap, firewood. Definitely taking that, because I didn't realize how quick I burned through this stuff. I've got to get something that's a little bit more efficient for... Uh, for the wood. I don't know what that could be. Maybe the furnace? I don't know if you can use that as like a two-in-one kind of deal. Right, what do we have in here again? We have the 50 cal rounds. And then this. Ooh. Oh, I have that. I have the battery. Oh, if I leave this area though. Oh. I so I need the passcode with the batteries though. There was a um there was a car accident close to where we live, and I went and saved him again, and he gave me batteries and some gloves. I traded up, like, some wood and scrap. No, it was wood and components, because I had, like, an excess and... Oh, yes! 
Oh, we can get this now. Wait, give me that. What's going on? Wait, I can't. Oh, I'm full on. Wait, I've got to get rid of some stuff. Oh, that's such a good find. Okay, that's perfect. We can get the other vehicle up now. And then we found the mount there too. So if we put you in there. Uh, let's just get rid of all this gear. I guess I don't need all of that. That should be enough. I don't think we need to get rid of anything else than that. This area has been so huge for us. I mean, both bandit camps have really. I mean, you would imagine that they've been hoarding all this stuff. 20 minutes. We'll gladly do that. That takes us just past half 10. Nothing on the back seats. Nothing in the back. Yeah, we're too fat. All right, let's go around this way. And then inside there, some extra ammo. We'll take you. I, I don't want to take the cigarettes. I know it could be useful for trading and stuff, but yeah, no, we're good. Right, let me break this thing down and then we'll check that last one there where Scott is sitting down too. He's all tied up. We're coming, Scott. And that's everything, right? Yeah, look at that. We've got... Oh, oh no, wait. Oh, nice. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, no. Screw your code. Give me this. And, oh, there's a cog over there. I need that fishing upgrade. What's that, backpack? Yeah, we're just breaking... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll kind of... We'll make it so it's not so jank. What we did was we... We smashed the window in. Yeah, we did. The bandits are not that smart. We smashed both windows in and they took all the stuff because I could have just reach in. But they had, like, booby traps on the floor that I didn't want to go further in. So, oh, wait, can we not get that? Oh. It's got it. Oh. 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 I'm in. Upgraded. Nice. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get out of this, though. Yeah, no. Okay, so if you guys want to try that, you can kind of jump crouch onto this window. Yeah, I'm not doing that. If we get stuck, it's worth nothing. So, let's go back around this way. And I know, guys, I've had people saying you can just reload and stuff. If you die, don't worry about it. I don't want to play it that way. I'm having fun with the way we've been doing it. But what do we come away with there? We've got two more extra slots. That's perfect. we got the sniper rifle, some extra scrap, a broken pistol. There was like a fishing thing in there, but I think I've already got one. Wait, let's just grab it anyway. There you go. We may as well <laughs> steal what we can. And I need the crowbar. Got it. Okay, crowbar. Take five minutes. No time at all. How are you doing, buddy? Can't imagine what you've been through. Is this what you've been sleeping on? Two comfortable beds back there. Right, let's grab this. I know, guys. I know. Priorities. Grab the food first. <laughs> Just check everywhere, right? Nothing under the beds. Waste a little bit of those batteries. Okay, we're not seeing anything. Nothing on the roof. All right, Scott. Let's get your ass out of here. Spent enough time with these guys. Scott has been rescued. You'll take it to your camp, join your crew. Uh, oh, yeah, so Scott cuts down the trees too. Oh, that's so good. Oh, so I can potentially get some perimeter walls now if we want that. You think we should build the perimeter walls around the base or leave it open and then just move to different site depending on how hot that area is getting? Let me know in the comments. There we go. Home sweet home. All right, let's see if we can... Okay, I'm going to need a lot more storage for all this stuff, I think. Yeah, I definitely am. Oh, we got the engine too. I should fit that in. All right, let's see if we have... Scott, teleport to base, so he should be here now. Where you at, Scott? He can be on the perimeter or he can be inside with Gion. Uh, Scott? There you are. He is checking the perimeters good. Okay, that's perfect. So if I give him an axe now and then I put him to work, he'll be able to get me some wood and then we can obviously build something out around the perimeter or just, I guess, hold on to the wood if we need it for anything. The crafting materials and stuff. What did I need for this? So it was just one? No. Oh, there we go. Two, six scrap and then the wood as well. Yeah, we should be able to do that. I know there was a gear back over at the uh, the bandit camp, but I'm thinking now they've probably heard all the commotion they've got back there. Okay, so what I'm probably going to do then is just offload this stuff. I don't know if this is going to take me the rest of the day, but however long it takes, I'll bring you guys back, and I think we're going to fit the engine for the new vehicle and see if we can get that worked out. And then I think I'm going to have to look around this area and see if we've got space to make a garage so Gion can work a magic and get us that turret on top of it. Oh my god, that is going to be amazing. So I guess I'll see you guys in a day or so.
just before I actually leave you all to organize all of this. Is it getting darker again? No. Oh, okay, it looked like there was a shadow coming over. Just before I leave you guys, I wanted to take a look at what this thing looks like with the grip on it. I think this is for that. It says tactical grip, so it's not specifically for anything. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh, that looks so good. Again, though, I say it in so many games that I play. So we need the magnifier in the stock, but I say in so many games that I play. I just think these would look so much cooler. I think it's actually got the uh, the clip for it as well with a sling on it. I don't know. It's just, it's just a little pet peeve of mine. I just think they always look and feel coming off the shoulder of the character so much nicer. But look at that. Look at that accuracy now. Ammo capacity. Maybe we can find a different mag for that in the future. Aim down sight speeds improved. The mobility is reduced. I don't know why that would be. Maybe because of... Actually, why would that be? Somebody let me know in the comments. Why would the mobility be reduced by having a grip on it possibly because you have to hold it a specific way with the grip i don't know maybe that's what it's referring to but let's confirm that and then does he hold it any differently now so actually oh he does so that's got like a whole thing as well i mean they could have skipped out on that and just had the stats but oh this thing is such a beast now i need to get more rounds for it look at this when we're running with it as well like going through scott look at my gun look at this are you impressed? You gotta be right. Wait, let's have a look at Scott. Oh, I'm not gonna talk to you yet. We'll do that together. All right, I just wanted to show you guys that because I was excited for it. Okay, I'm gonna organize all of this and we'll be back, like I say, in a day or so. All right, a brand new day, day number 16. All right, the first thing that we need to do is grub out and I'm gonna eat this. Fill that hunger bar all the way up because we've just replenished it from everything that we found. So we're doing good, we're okay. Obviously still need to go hunting though. I think we'll do that in the next episode. We'll do a spot of hunting, see if we can get some stuff. I did hear a car accident around here. You know what? Let me just grab a pencil. How's it going, Scott? Should be able to see from uh, from the map where the accident was. Like basically make a note on where we thought the accident was. Where is it? There we go. Pencil. Right. Let's open the map and then... Oh, it's there. Ooh, okay. Right, what do I have? I've tried to organize this stuff as best as I can. Uh, clothing. I'm not really too worried about keeping all the clothing. Let's just change what we've we got duplicates. So I've got jeans. And what have I got an excess of? I've got a lot of tools. I don't think I'm ever going to blow through this stuff. There's the uh, screwdriver that I have. Uh, ammunition. This is still yet to be organized. The hat, maybe. I'm probably never going to use that. Maybe give it Scott. I wonder if we can put that on Scott. Uh, I'm just looking for things that I can trade up for now. I can definitely trade that up and maybe some bottles too. All right, let's just see if what we've got there amounts to anything that we can trade. Because when we save them, it gives us a really good item. And it's definitely worth it. Okay, so I guess at this point then, seeing as though the car just reminded me of it, I should probably tell you guys... <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to show it in the video, but in all of the looting in the bandit camp, remember that second jerry can that I had where I was filling up with like over 10 liters of fuel? Yeah, it's gone. It's back over at the camp, and I'm pretty sure that there's going to be bandits there now. So hopefully I didn't break a car down with the jerry can in the front of it, but we'll find out. You okay in there? road must be really treacherous because one of your friends crashed here the other day okay let's be smart with this oh okay we can trade all of this if we need to not going to trade that soda that's useful to me okay let's rescue him get out of there buddy i really thought there was a way that these things could explode but as far as i found out they haven't thank you for saving me sure small thing that i can give you in return which is oh blueprints oh i wonder what that is Right, what have you got? Okay, I definitely need those batteries. Everything else is crap. So, I want these. All four of them. And the value you think is worth, okay, you'll definitely have that. Got plenty of water so you can take that. Those gloves. Oh, and that's it? Oh, no, no, no. Let me take the gloves back. What about the jeans? Oh, you think that's worth it? Or is that my water? That might be mine. Give me that back. 
I don't know which one ha actually has the water in it. I've got plenty of these, and I've got so much water back at base, I'm not too worried about it. Let's just do one. Deal. Give me all those batteries. Everything else... Wait. Did we just do the deal? <laughs> not sure. Got something to trade with? No, no, we're good. Good luck. I'm saving all of these guys. And they're just disappearing, leaving their vehicles. It'd be so good if we could repair this up as well. But, having said that, I think we're ready to go because... I've organized everything enough so that we've got this. Now, I do want to ask you guys a question. I know that you've told me if I keep electrical parts on me, so stuff like this, I believe if it rains or if I get wet, these things can get damaged. But is it the case for this? Because I know this is kind of like jank, throwing these in the back of this for storage, but can they get damaged being in the back of the vehicle? And I don't know if this is just my brain doing this either, but since I've been adding more fuel to this car, it does feel heavier. I don't know if that's like... I don't think this game has inertia. But... Ooh, that made me jump. Okay, we got a vehicle there. No, let's just keep it going. So there's one more there. And I think that might be the last one that we've got to tear down in this area. There might be one more around the back there, but pretty sure that's going to be... What about those ones over there? All right, let's throw the uh, the engine into this then. Oh my god, we've got two vehicles now. Look how well we're doing. Like, at first, first couple of days, things were looking really bad. <laughs> Especially when I was kind of stranded over there with the bears and stuff. Let me double check something, too. Mask on. We're looking okay. Nothing else in these. There's some fuel in that. Do I have the jerry can? Yeah, let's just fill the can. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right. Let's throw the engine into this, then. So, engine, in there. Somebody was saying as well, like, it's a little bit silly how you can put a spark plug into the vehicle without the engine in there. I never really noticed that, but yeah, it just kind of makes sense how you can do that. I don't know. Maybe you should have to put the engine in first, then the spark plug, but that's probably going to come in the future. And this has got 5.54 liters. You can leave the jerry cans in there. And I did check mine, right? Yeah, no, it's not in there. I think she is good to go now. So let's fire her up. Please do not disappear. Let's fire you up. Oh, look how plush this is <laughs> for the apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Right, let's fire her up. Reverse her out. She is ready to go. Right, I'm going to leave her facing this way then. And then... Let's just take a look. Such a cool looking car as well. Really is. And once it's got a turret on the top of this, I don't know how that's going to work. I'm guessing... Maybe cuts a hole or, or moves the hole further back, like just cuts a bigger hole into this. I don't know. I'm excited to see it, though. I do know that you guys have said I have to make the uh, the tuning garage in order to do that, I think. So we'll uh, we'll get on that pretty quick. Let me just leave the truck here. And then we're going to take this one back. Oh, yeah. We've got a new vehicle. It'd be awesome as well if the other survivors at the camp could use this now we've got two vehicles and just roam around the map collecting stuff oh my god that would be amazing like helping you collect supplies and stuff again maybe something in the future i don't know i do keep getting asked by some of you guys like what this is now for the purpose of our story when the whole world went to shit this area obviously was put on hold because of all the craziness that's happening but to break immersion for a second this is actually being worked on. That's what this means here, work in progress. So I think at some point we are going to see this area being built up. And if you want to see what it looks like, there's actually pictures on Steam so you can keep track of what the plans are for this. And there's that big old building down there as well. And there's like two of them. You see that? We will get to that. Not entirely sure how we're going to get through that checkpoint though. And maybe if we can drive around it, I guess this is the whole point of what we're doing some recon for today. We can find way through which seems safe i guess safer than just going through that checkpoint then it makes sense to do that there we go it's directly ahead i want to get too close to this though again i don't know if they have any snipers i remember being here last time and my heart was thumping so let me just park the truck up here and then we'll hop out all right let's move in slowly then if it looks like i can take this i will Don't remember seeing anyone that was really posted, but 
Okay, yeah, it's definitely one of their camps. They've got their flags hanging out there, but it's just so hard to see. Oh. Oh, no, there's a few up there. So I don't know if he's a sniper, but these two, that one looks like an automatic weapon, and that might be a shotgun. All right, we've got one patrolling down here. Oh, there's a second one there. If you stop, you're dead. You stop for like a half a second and turned around. I could probably hit that, but you see that? There's another one up there too. And we got him to contend with. Yeah, I think this might be a case of me going back to base, building the repair bench, getting that hunting rifle, and at least trying to take some of them out from a distance. I mean, I could. <laughs> I could use these. I really could. But although I'm getting a lot more confident with my shots, I don't think I can nail like two or three of them like we did last time. There's no real cross section where they all meet. Yeah, you've definitely got a fully automatic rifle in your hands. What's this one got? I didn't see what he had the second one patrolling. What do you have? Nothing. Okay. Maybe he's got something holstered. So there's at least four of them here. And this is probably going to be the best angle. Come back this way. I'm so exposed. Oh, wait, is there more in there? God, I think there is. I mean, this was only supposed to be a little bit of recon. So we know what we're dealing with, but... I feel like I'm getting a little bit too trigger happy. Right there. Can I hit that? A bit too high. Ooh. Okay, that was a miss. That's a headshot. We doing this? You saw me then? He's dead now. We're good. Quickly add these two. Yeah. Oh, I'm panicking. <laughs> add the arrows and then just make sure they're replenished. just over the back that's one hit leading it a little bit too much no don't get stuck in the tree it's good that we're quiet and go down this is crazy that we're doing this I did not expect to push this today I really really didn't as soon as I saw how many there were I was convinced that it would be better to use the hunting rifle which it probably is we're okay, though. Where did that other one go? Is there more back there? <gasps> Can't go down. I'm not looting a single body until they're all down. The bow is so crucial. What on earth is that? <gasps> Then go down. Dead. <laughs> Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was another one too. Dead. Oh my god, did we do it? Right, don't over celebrate. Hold on. Don't get too cocky with it. Have a look around. Don't pick a single thing up yet. You don't want to get way down. Oh my god, did we just actually take on our biggest bandit camp? There were so many of them there too. There's so much stuff here. Oh. This looks like it was so worth it. There's lockers. We're oh, a chainsaw too! Backpack? Yes, give me that. I don't have to carry anything with that. Arrow. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Oh, Give me that. And I'll take the chocolate bar to celebrate 50 cal sodas. Oh yes. I can break this open. 
Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that was a huge win. I honestly, guys, I really thought this would take at least a day or two of prepping. But when you've. Whoa. Can I not get up there? When you've got an opportunity to. When you've got an opportunity like this to take advantage of, like, maybe dropping one of them, sets off a chain reaction, and we pretty much did as best we could there. Right, backpack, you have some duct tape. I'm going to leave that. don't really need that too much right now. Components. Wait, let's start here again. So we got the components, and we was, like, here first. Sticks. Look at this beast. Something tells me we're going to be able to fix these up. Look at that. They're all, like, deconstructed and stuff inside. Sandbags on the side. This would be so useful if you pulled up to an area like another bandit campus. No way. No way. Have I parked the car too far away for this, though? I was going to say, if you pulled up to another bandit camp with this, though, you just these sandbags here, you could just set up. When the driver pulls up, basically drive by that camp. Like 10 of you guys in the back. I'm going to have to bring the car up. Let's see what you had. Give me my arrow back. Some boots. Yeah, I could probably do with them. Been doing a lot of traveling. The carrot. Absolutely. Uh, what is that? A full restore? Yes, please. And there was another body around here. I dropped someone. That was around here. There we go. Give me that arrow. And you had some water and sugar. I've got plenty of that. I'm not going to take anything that's unnecessary right now. How am I going to get up there to you? You're going to be a pain. Right, where's my vehicle? Not too far away, I hope, because that might respawn more of them in wait where are my pants did i say <laughs> did i sell the person i saved before my jeans <laughs> okay well we just took down a bandit camp with no pants on nice what about if we were to do this and then climb it oh my god that would have broken my legs for sure did you have some more shotgun shells we'll take that more ammunition either way Oh my god. I'm so, so incredibly happy with that. Why can't I climb this? I don't know why it's doing that. Pistol, more ammunition, some components. We're not dropping anything, right? I'll grab the pistol because I think I can give it one of the uh, the other survivors. Gion or Scott. And then this was like one of the snipers too. Alright, what can we make room for? Let's eat the carrot. Keep our energy up. I hope nothing comes into this area while I'm doing this, by the way. Let me just mark. Yeah, so we're here. So we've still got all of this back there to look through as well. He had a shirt. And another pencil. Wait, can we take... Yeah, there we go. Eight. Another pistol. Can't hold you. That's fine. Whoa. Whoa. Welding mask? What's that? Is that... Is that schematics for a ship? I think it is, right? Yeah, that's a sailing boat. Let's pick this up. I guess this is a key item. It's got the key next to it. Like one of these things. Can't climb that. What did you have, big guy? Oh, you had more 50 cal rounds. Of course you did. Stack that and a filter. Oh, that's so good. Can I stack five? Yes. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. That's more rounds for the M4 that we just found as well. What was in this? Oh my god, that is the jackpot. We got another one of these things. I'd love to be able to take these, by the way. I don't think we can make a, uh, a tent, but being able to just be out with Leo when we get him back and then just set one of these up in the middle of nowhere, like maybe at the side of the map, just away from everything with the truck next to us. I don't know. It'd be really, really cool to do that. Also, this was definitely revenge for them taking Leo. They got what they deserved. Those bastards. Took my dog. Right, let's see if we can get these lockers open. Again, I forgot to use the bottle. I'm just so used to just trying to take them down as quick as possible. I'll get to it, though. We'll definitely give it a shot. There was more buildings down here then as well, right? I've got to take a look at. Oh, was this the entire area, like, split up into three? I think that might be the case. It's just getting confused on the map. Let's open this again. I can use this in the base, so I'm going to take that. And then let's break this open. Three minutes. That's nothing at all. Pistol, another explosive arrow, or three more explosive arrows. 
Bandages, clothes, ammunition, the works. And let's go to that other one. I can't open these, right? Yeah, no. Let's go back over this way. Put the shotgun away because we're going to need to grab the side of this wood. There we go. Oh, we made it up first time this time. And I don't have anything. Yeah, I'm not really carrying anything heavy now. And I can't get up there. If anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. <laughs> it's really upsetting that I can't do that. Another three minutes. Another vest. Oh, we can make another Molotov now. Another soda and more ammunition. All right, let's pick you up too. Oh, this was, again... I'm going to keep saying it because it feels so good. But another huge win. I know I can put these in the back of the truck as well. I've just got to reorganize everything, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'll probably just move them away. I'll throw them in the back of the truck for now and then use them for the base. Do I need another bucket? Ah, screw it. Just in case we do. Really, really happy with what we come away with there. And we've got so much more storage now as well. Don't even ask me how I've got these lockers in the back of this, guys. They're held together with duct tape that I found and I'm just taking things really, really slow. <laughs> okay, use your imagination. Right, we're home. Nice and easy. Don't want any of these things to fall out the back. I'm going to need them. That's so huge, though, for the storage side of our base now. There we go. Let's leave that there. Home sweet home. Okay, so we still need a gear in order to upgrade this. Which then should give me access to this quiver, which is what we need. Okay, so where can I get another gear from? I'm going to have to work that out, but... What a ridiculously successful day by getting a new survivor, taking out that first camp, and then doing recon, which turned out we took down a second camp, a much bigger one, and came away with so much more equipment that we can use just to survive another day. So, as always, guys, if you are enjoying this, please drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one.